Well, since the Supreme Court's Citizens United ruling in 2010, corporations have had a hand in funding our elections. Reporter Anthony Scott tells us how a group in Brainerd tried to put an end to big money in politics over the weekend. We need to get big money out of politics. And just for that reason, dozens of people protested through downtown Brainerd Saturday afternoon in a nonpartisan effort to eliminate corporations' influence in politics. This isn't an issue about one party versus the other party. There's corrupt politicians on both sides. This is about which politicians are going to respond to their constituents and which politicians are responding to the people that pay them the big donations. This protest and movement comes after the Supreme Court's 2010 Citizens United ruling. The Supreme Court has ruled that uh, corporations are people and that when, co when pe corporations give money to politicians, they're just speaking to them, that speech, that money is speech, and that it's not corrupting for them. But we know that that money is corrupting the politicians. A democracy is a competition of ideas and goals and desires that are human. It is not a competition of piles of money. Lakes Area Moved to Amend hosted the protest and invited all of the local candidates in this year's midterms to speak, but only Democrats Dale Mink, Phil Yitzer, and Joe Radinovich attended. It's exciting to be out here with people who are dedicated to removing the corrupting influence of money from our political system. I agree with them wholeheartedly. Uh, what we've seen is that, unfortunately, unfettered uh, corporate interest and, and uh, the interest of the wealthiest people in this country uh, can drown out the voices of those who are interested in democracy. Move to Amend's ultimate goal is to change the Constitution after the Supreme Court's Citizens United decision. We want to add an amendment to the U.S. Constitution which says that corporations are not persons and money is not a form of free speech. The petition to amend the Constitution on Move to Amend's website has almost reached its goal of 500,000 signatures. Reporting from Brainerd, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.